I spent nearly $10,000 building several desk setups, the ultimate Mac Studio setup and a M1 Mac Mini desk setup. And by the end of this video, you'll not only know which is best for you, but also what I am spending $280,000 on. <laughs> With the M1 Mac Mini having such a competitive price point and the Mac Studio's performance competing with the likes of the brand new BMW costing Mac Pro for only the cost of your neighbor's straight piped Honda Civic, which one should you buy? Well, the channel supervisor Ember says she much prefers the stick and says that it's way better as it is completely free and can give you hours and hours of entertainment. Starting with the Mac Mini, despite being the cheapest computer Apple sells, the setup we have here costs more than my car. But well, you can get one for as low as 700 US dollars. I would try to explain to you who this device is for, but it's way easier if I just show you. Siri, take me to the office. This is my dad and this is his office. Ember actually also supervises over here. She is a very busy woman. He is a software developer who spends most of his time writing code for websites. And I asked him what he uses the M1 Mac Mini for and if he's happy with its performance. Oh, that's a great question. So if you look at the specs on the Mac Mini, I've got the M1 processor in both, I believe. If you look at the specs, they're pretty similar. But for whatever reason, the Mac Mini is just way faster than the MacBook Pro. The other thing is, is the way it handles the video so that I could get the M1 chip to work with two monitors by using this little box that's over here, which I think you've talked about in the past. Otherwise, this thing does, it, it, I don't wait on anything. I literally don't wait on anything. I come in here, I hit the uh, shift button on my keys, my Apple Watch unlocks everything, and I'm to work. And it's just that quick. Andrew's been happy with your performance output, your supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he has. Okay, so obviously the setup that he has is extremely expensive. If you want something a little more budget, check out this Mac Mini setup I made that was less than $1,500 with everything being brand new. If you buy some used parts, you could get this thing well under a thousand. And this setup will power power through 4K video quicker than Will Smith's mood changed at the Oscars. Although it might not have the glamour, Razorbacks, or even the sturdiness of my dad's setup, it still gets the job done extremely well. Moving on to the Mac Studio. Now the Mac Studio costs more than Elon Musk's house. Get it? Because he doesn't have a house. It's kind of sad really. But anyways, it starts at $2,000 and the setup I have here is around $3,200. This device is targeted at people who don't have enough money to spend $40,000 on a cheese grater, but do need similar performance, i.e. myself. I am extremely happy with how well this device has performed, far better than the AirPods Pro I had. But I can hear you saying, if you love both devices so much, how am I supposed to decide which one would be better for me? Well, they're both amazing, obviously. They're just for different kinds of people with different needs and more importantly, budgets. So at the end of the day, the Mac Mini is a great deal for someone who doesn't want to spend a lot of money on a Mac, but still wants great performance. The Mac Studio, on the other hand, is great for someone who is very serious about professional content creation, uh, <laughs> like myself. <laughs> so analyze what it is that you want to do with a desk setup, your budget, and that really should do the decision making for you. So what am I spending $280,000 on? Well, a lot of you probably already guessed it. I'm in the process of trying to buy a house and I plan on making it the ultimate smart home. So be sure to leave a comment with any and everything you would like to see. I want to make this thing completely ran by Siri. That might be a mistake. <laughs> Over the course of this channel, I have built up tons and tons of tech products that I just don't use and I need to find something to do with them. Please drop a comment down below if you'd like to see me do some kind of giveaway or something along those lines.